looks like a New York player because he knows all the angles. Played for Severian High School and led them to the uh, Federation State Championship. I was a sophomore in high school, and we played an exhibition game against Zavarian, and he came in and had 39 and two quarters. I literally played all over the city, had a lasting impression, not only the way I wound up playing the game, but also how much influence the game had on my life and, and the people I met, neighborhoods I went in and out of. The neighborhood he wanted to call home was Midtown, 33rd and 7th to be specific, so he could play for his hometown team. The Golden State Warriors select Chris Mullen from St. John's. I always wanted to see him in a new uniform because it would have been over. It would have been nice if I could stay home in New York, but um, I'm going <laughs> uh, to make the best of my situation. I'm looking forward to it. Chris goes seventh to Golden State, which you look at it now, that's a tremendous pick for Golden State that late because he's a prolific scorer for the world. 37 for Mullen. Mullen five years in a row, he's averaging 25 points a game, which for the Warriors hadn't been done since Will Chamber. That was outrageous. Chris was a machine of a scorer. Here's Mullen. Oh, he is on. You had to watch him at all times because he was an unbelievable outside shooter with tremendous range. What a shot. Anytime the ball touched his hand, it was gone, and it was mostly good. And there's nothing you can do about that as a defensive player. The strength of his game was his 18, 20-foot jump shot. 20-foot jumper, you know he'll make that. And his ability to get open. Absolutely amazing. If you left him open, you could just run back down the court because it was going in. And his passing was underrated. He could move the ball. He was always thinking a step ahead. Mullen off to the races. Look out for Drexler. Passes it to the trailer. As a member of the Golden State Warriors and Indiana Pacers, Chris Mullen was one of the most exciting players in the NBA. The 16-year veteran played in five All-Star games, and his sharpshooting ranks him fourth on the Warriors' all-time scoring list, behind Hall of Famers Wilt Chamberlain, Rick Barry, and Paul Arizin. Chris Mullen was the ultimate New York City gym rat. A little warmer, so a little old body gets loose a little quicker. People would talk about him getting the keys to the gym late at night, going in there and shooting. You could tell that he really worked on his jump shot. He would make 100 shots from one spot, go to another spot, make 100 shots, Let's go to the foul line, make 100 shots, over and over and over. And I just couldn't believe his work ethic. Chris is one of the hardest working players that I know. He was never quick and he was never athletic. If you or I were to race him in a foot race, we'd have a shot. Here goes Mullen. They would measure your vertical or my vertical jump compared to Chris Mullins, we'd have a shot. Mullen with a difficult shot. If they were to measure his basketball IQ to yours or mine, we would have no shot whatsoever. What a remarkable play by Mullen! In 1992, Mullen took his New York game global. This guy was on the original Dream Team. There was a reason he was on that team. And you know, guys like Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson, they had a lot to do with picking that team. He's looked at more than just a score. He's looked at as a tremendous teammate, a guy who passed the ball, who plays the game, as they say, the right way. And it's kind of the New York way. There's a lot of teamwork involved. So he's thought very highly of The kid from Brooklyn went to Indiana. Though he was no hick from French Lick, Mullen was right at home with the Pacers. And if you didn't know any better, you would think he was from Indiana with the way that he looked and that, that game that he had. What a shot! Oh, brother! He still has the ability to make shots. He's still a guy who the defense has to take account of because he's a guy who can bury a shot if you're not on it. This is Mullen with five, looking for three. Got it. That's what he brings a lot to the Pacers in that era where they do make the finals. Even though they didn't win and they lost to a better team in Los Angeles, this was a guy starting out as a freshman in St. John's until when he ended, had an unbelievable career. Everything going for Chris Mullen. Chris could go down in NBA history as one of the best perimeter shooters to ever play the game. Up three by Chris Mullen. Go! Chris was a hard-nosed guy from the St. John's who only played one way. Draws the crowd all the way to the basket. Got it! He was a very special player. 